Good evening, fellow punters. Mickey D back with you here on Tuesday evening about half six uh, with three for tomorrow. And I give you one already for the uh, Kerry National. Um, I wasn't on line early this morning. I forgot until last night that I had an MRI brain scan and uh, spine scan today in Sligo Hospital. So I had to go a bit earlier this morning to get the run done to get down there. And I was there a while. As I'm sure some of you know, when uh, you go into that tunnel, it can be dicey and tricky. Um, when the, it reminded me, uh, I was woke one morning in the camper van below in Listole with a jackhammer going at half seven. Well, you know, the, when that jackhammer goes in your head. But um, I was imagining a football match and a few horse races to kill the time. Um, I don't like it. I don't like them in closed spots at all, but... Um, I will hope for the best anyway with the results come out in a couple of days. Um, Rosa Malta ran first for us today, ran fourth, left its race at the start, finished well. I can't understand they don't educate these horses to get out of the stalls. They want to use a little deep heat in between the legs. That'll get them out or a nittle up under the tail. Um, the double went down the swanny, the same thing with, uh, with the uh, O'Brien horse. Um was horrible to watch when he couldn't get anywhere uh, I know a min that had big money on it 4 to 5 and 8 to 11 and 4 to 6 um, they were sweating today they'll be sweating more tomorrow um, but uh, Earls took us out of trouble what a little daisy of a horse I'm absolutely delighted for uh, Martin Sheridan and Gavin Cromwell and the connections to be Porter drank in Gallastown I would imagine Three great wins for them in a row. And uh, only had went up to six pounds because the handicapper can't see that, you know, how much he has left in the tank. Just got up on the line again today. Actually improved for the step up to uh, to a mile from uh, from seven furlongs. I know there was a couple of bit ones unlucky in the race, but uh, unlucky horses are always unlucky. Um, good horses and, and willing horses make their own luck. Uh, Gary Carroll is riding great. So... Uh, Anyway, great, uh, a great winner. I'm delighted for them. Um, tomorrow, um, the three tinnitus stole Percival Le Galois for Gav the, the aforementioned Gavin Cromwell, Merrick Walsh. This won a bumper first time out and then JP landed with the checkbook and bought it. It won a maiden hurl there on soft ground um, two starts back and then in his first handicap in Galway. It was a day in Italian's dream sort of nutted it on the line and I think he was sort of blindsided and when uh, Nathaniel's dream came wide up close to the stand to our delight because we were on at big big prices um, but he rallied again I thought uh, when he did see it late um, and I think uh, the front runners are, are holding their own down there now there is another horse in the race uh, as well. Some of you might be aware of the way back to before, but I don't think tomorrow might be a stay, according to what I hear. Um, that's eleven to two, a pint each way, four places. It's only a five-year-old, and it went up four pounds, I think, for its last run. The eight o'clock in Suddle, Calamb or a Calambre, for um, George Bowie. It was beating a short head for us the last time when Buick rode it. Uh, with the winner got the other side of the track. Uh, Connor Planis is uh, taking off seven. He's riding tomorrow night. Um, and his last nine runs, he has two wins and two places. It's a seven to two shot, a pint win. And I thought in the 225 at Goodwood that uh, Red Mirage for Andrew Balding, Buick is riding it. Uh, he's a good strike rate which, uh, when he rides for uh, Andrew Balding. But it used to be trained by Mark Johnson at the start. Same owner as it is now, so with a different barn uh, or different yard. Um, but it won its first three in a row. Uh, and then it went a bit sour. And then when it switched yards as well, it won its first two. And it was second, third and fourth since. But he hasn't ran a mile. Uh, it's a claim and handicap tomorrow. Now it's not simple race either, but I thought it a nine to two shot uh, that might be worth the pint win as well. Um and and the Kerry Nationals on tomorrow. There's a couple of great. Uh, there's a great novice chase down there tomorrow as well. Um, what do you call them? Um, there's a few good ones. I can't think of their names all of a sudden. I was going to sing a song, but my mind has gone blank as well this evening. 
I'll uh, I'll do that soon. Um, for the Tipperary crowd. All right, will I go ahead? I joined the flying column in nineteen and sixteen. In Cork with Sean Mylan, Tipperary with Dan Breen. Arrested by free staters and sentenced for to die. Farewell to Tipperary, said the Galti mountain boy. We went across the valleys and over the hilltops green, where we met with Danny Lacey, Sean Hogan and Dan Breen. Sean Moylan and his gallant men, they kept the flag flying high. Farewell to Tipperary, said the Galti mountain boy. Oh, we trekked the Wicklow Mountains, we were rebels on the run. Through hunted night and morning, we were outlaws but free men. We roamed the Dublin mountains as the sun was shining high. Farewell to Tipperary, said the Galti mountain boy. I bid farewell to old Clonmel I never will see again. And to the Galti mountains that oft times sheltered me. The men who fought for their liberty, who died without a sigh. May their cause be near forgotten, said the Galti mountain boy. <clears throat> that was a struggle. Bash the bookies over and out.